My name is Professor Marcus Schleich. I'm the Doctor Chair in Clinical Research at the University of Western Australia and the Royal Perth Hospital in Perth, Australia. And I'm the Treasurer of the International Society of Hypertension. I will cover diagnosis and clinical testing. Patients with hypertension are often asymptomatic. However, specific symptoms can suggest secondary forms of hypertension or hypertensive complications that require further investigations. A complete medical and family history is recommended and should include assessment of blood pressure, a history of onset of hypertension, duration, uh, current and previous antihypertensive medications. Risk factors and comorbidities are also important to explore, as are signs and symptoms of secondary hypertension. A thorough physical examination can assist with confirming the diagnosis of hypertension and the identification of hypertension-mediated organ damage and secondary forms of hypertension. It should include an assessment of the circulatory system, the heart, and other organ systems, specifically the kidneys. Certain lab investigations are very useful to explore other factors that can uh, contribute to hypertension, specifically <clears throat> electrolyte, creatinine, to assess renal function in form of EGFR, a simple dipstick test to screen for proteinuria, and where available lipid and fasting glucose levels to look into hypercholesterolemia and diabetes. A 12 lead ECG is very useful to exclude atrial fibrillation and explore whether left ventricular hypertrophy or ischemic heart disease may be present. Under optimal circumstances, additional tests can be considered and usually include extended biochemistry specifically to look for secondary forms of hypertension and imaging of target organs such as the heart, the kidneys, the brain, and the peripheral vasculature. Fundoscopy is specifically relevant in the context of hypertensive urgencies and emergencies. Cardiovascular risk factors is another aspect that is important to assess since more than 50% of hypertensive patients have additional cardiovascular risk factors. These are most commonly obesity in the form of the metabolic syndrome, type 2, diabetes, lipid disorders, and elevated uric acid levels. It is therefore recommended that cardiovascular risk assessment should be performed in all patients with hypertension. We should also consider an increased risk with uh, other entities, in particular chronic inflammatory diseases, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, psychiatric disorders, and psychosocial stresses. Assessing overall cardiovascular risk these days can be done quite elegantly with cardiovascular risk calculators as highlighted here, which takes into account not only the level of blood pressure at any given time, but also the type and the number of additional risk factors, which then based on these calculators give you a low, a moderate, and high cardiovascular risk, which is useful for the management of elevated blood pressure. This leads us to hypertension-mediated organ damage, which again is an important aspect for the diagnosis and management of hypertension. It is defined as the structural or functional alteration of the arterial vasculature or the organs it supply caused by elevated blood pressure. The assessment of hypertension-mediated organ damage can provide important therapeutic guidance, specifically in two circumstances. If management for hypertensive patients with low or moderate overall risk can change to reclassification uh, by demonstrating the presence of uh, HMOT and preferential selection of drug treatment may be based on the specific impact 
on hypertension mediated with organ damage. In, as an essential standard in terms of assessment of the hypertension mediated organ damage, we would recommend to look at serum creatinine and estimated GFR, a test for protein in the urine, uh, usually dipstick and a 12 lead ECG. Under optimal circumstances, depending on the availability, additional imaging in particular of target organs such as the brain, the eyes, the heart, the kidneys, and the peripheral arteries can be useful. And certain data suggests that serial assessment of hypertension mediated organ damage may help to determine the efficacy of treatment. 